Hi Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Ascendant. This is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your August 11th to the 17th, 2024 reading for you. Now I ask if this reading resonates with you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps me out tremendously. It gets this channel seen by more people. So thank you so very much for doing so. And if you're interested in a private reading, check out my website, daneharttarot.com. It's listed in the description box below, and I look forward to reading for you. Now, before we begin this reading, let us clear the energy space, raising our own energy vibration and releasing any negativity. This cleanse and meditation will be accompanied by a loud sound. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. Releasing all negativity from the body like storm clouds, letting yourself feel calm, centered, and at peace as we enter into this safe and loving space. All right, Pisces, let's see what the tarot has to say. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly, angels. and spirit guides, angels. And spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. Let me just make sure everything's in frame. All right, perfect. Now let's see what spirit has to say. Now, if you're interested in entering to receive a free reading, there are three things that you have to do. You have to like, you have to comment with a butterfly, and you have to subscribe. A person will be chosen at random and announced at random. So good luck to everyone. And hit the bell notification so you can be notified when the winner is announced. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. This is resourcefulness. Pisces, you are a heck of a lot more resourceful. You're a heck of a lot more like, you know, scrappy, scumpy, like I got this type of energy than you give yourself credit for. So really embracing that, embracing the thinking outside of the box is going to be really important. It moves us then to our chakra energy, angels and spirit guides, show me clearly, guide this reading and show me clearly. This is nurturing reverse. This is the earth star chakra. So there's a blockage in the earth star chakra, which is located six inches below our feet. And what that means is that we need to visualize ourselves grounding to the earth, connecting with the earth, you know, like a tree, like tree roots going down into the earth, sprouting from our feet. And we need to be kinder to ourselves and nurture our inner child because we're going to have a hard time doing that. We're going to see our mistakes and really belittle and, and berate ourselves. And spirit's like, no, stop it. It moves us then to our energy to be mindful of angels and spirit guides show me clearly guide this reading and show me clearly this is the eight of cups so we need to be mindful of two things we're going to have a tendency to stay certain places when we should leave and we're going to have to have a tendency to leave when we should stay and i know that is completely confusing but this is going to be a time where we need to not let our temper get the best of us or let ourselves feel embarrassed. And it's like, that's it, I'm going, you know, type of thing. Or like sticking something up, sticking something out and, and being uncomfortable and being angry in that place and being like, you know, frustrated. But like, you know, they're not going to win. You need to choose you. You need to choose you during this time. And it's going to be hard, though. It moves us to being crowned by the nine of wands. That makes sense. We then have the page of cups. We're represented by the cups in the minor arcana. So that's us coming through. We then have the two of cups and the knight of swords. That's air sign energy. That's yeah, air sign energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. 
We have the Two of Wands. The Star, which is Aquarius energy coming through. We have the Tower reversed. Interesting. We have the Hangman reversed. We have the Emperor. So if we're born on the cusp with Aries or we have Aries in our chart. We have the Ten of Cups. We have the Ace of Cups reversed. And we have the Eight of Swords reversed. So what's very interesting here is that during this time, we're listening to too many people. So during this week, stop listening to everyone. You know, of course, except for Dane Hart Tarot, right? Except for this channel. Listen to this channel. But all jokes aside, here with the Nine of Wands, there is a sense of so much energy is coming in to at us. It's like at us. And it feels like, oh, I have to defend against this. I have to do that. But we're tired. And it's go that tiredness is going to be held in our shoulders, especially if we are men. So just being aware of this during this time is going to be really important for us. We need to step back and we need to say, what am I even fighting for? Where do I want to be? Because we've gotten so caught up in this, you know, kind of like fight and defend, fight and defend, you know, frenzy that we've forgotten what we're at, what our actual goals are. So being aware of that is going to be important. We have God's source spirit, however you see the divine, the universe, handing us a gift of healing, beautiful love. We're going to have a hard time taking that because we need to connect with our inner child and we're going to be connecting with our inner child. We're also going to have inspiration coming from the most unlikely of places, but we have been so traumatized from everything that we have been through. Everything has been so intense. It's been a lot that we almost think right now that trusting our heart and going with our heart, it makes us too vulnerable. We've made a fool out of ourselves. We are, we'll never make the right decision when it comes to love, when it comes to what we want, you know, when it comes to building the joy that we want in life. So just being aware of this and knowing that that's not true. It's just that, again, we've been through so much and we're really doubting ourselves at times that we just need to be aware of that. The two of cups is reversed. There's something we need to heal from that we're not ready to heal from. We're like, nope, not going to look at it. Don't want to heal from it. Don't want to do it. So acknowledging this and either saying, okay, I'll give myself time or saying, you know what, buck up. You can do this. You can heal is going to be okay too. Whatever you decide, but here you are your hero. So the Knight of Swords comes in. That's again, air sign energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You have very strong Aquarius energy here during this time. This is cutting through doubts and fears, negativities, hurts, pains, disappointments. This is knowing what you want. This is slaying your dragons. This is also having energy around you that can be air sign energy, but this is going to be somebody who's very good with their words. They tend to talk fast, but they cut through a lot of nonsense. They tend to get right to the point and then they'll just leave and move on because it's like, okay, work's done. Here's done. You know, now let's go. Doors are going to be opening to you during this time. And it's going to be really focused around your dreams about, you know, what you want to build, how you want to move things forward. And what's going to be so interesting is that as your dreams move you forward and as you are embracing like a bigger picture of what it is that you want, you're afraid of fully letting yourself step into your dreams, step into what you desire, because you have been through a tower time. You have been through a time where things have fallen apart. Now, this could have been 16 months ago. This could have been 16 years ago. This could have been on a day that was a 16th, right? But the number 16 is important here. And it could have been from when you were 16. It's just like, wow, it's been one struggle after another, after another, what the heck is going on? You've started to doubt yourself. What you're going to see here now is that you're not going to be able to rebuild exactly as it was. That's okay. Things like chapters get to be done. But what you're going to do is you're going to be looking at what is left behind and saying, how do I form what I want? How do I build what I want? How do I move forward how I want to? And as we look at things differently, we start seeing ourselves as like, we almost start seeing like there's a crown on the floor. Somebody has to rule. This is your life, Pisces. Somebody gets to rule it. Put the crown on your head, embrace what you desire, move forward in your tenacity, and go after what you want. You also have very strong patriarchal energy coming forward in the best possible way, masculine energy coming forward, sacred masculine energy coming forward in the best possible way. You will have, you either have role models that you know in real life or role models that you don't know in real life, but that are helping shape you, forge you, you know, gain this bigger understanding. Choosing your happiness is going to be the best thing that you can do. And also put blinders on, kind of like, you know, horse blinders when horses are running. Put blinders on and look at your race only. It will be so easy to look at everybody else and then you'll get tripped up. Then you'll make your mistakes. Look at what you love in your life. Look at what brings you joy in your life 
and keep on going after it. With the Ace of Cups reverse and the Eight of Swords reverse, well, we're getting out of being stuck in our own head, but we also think we're not worthy of gifts and happinesses to come our way. And that is just a bold faced lie. So being aware of that and releasing that and saying, I am letting in all gifts from the universe. I am immensely blessed is going to be astoundingly important. It moves us to our chakra energy, well, our spirit energy. This is invigorate the juniper. We are being invigorated. We're being emboldened. Our energy is getting momentum. Our subconscious chakra energy is peace. This is the crown chakra, embracing peace, embracing harmony with ourselves and within ourselves. As we pick up the crown, we're also picking up our peace because we're picking up our power. Sometimes our power can disturb our peace, but there's going to be peace in knowing our power, knowing our tenacity. It moves us then to our energy to be mindful of. The Six of Swords reversed. Be mindful that we want to move faster than we actually can. So slowing things down are going is going to be very important for us. And knowing that we hold a lot more knowledge than we think we do. Our subconscious tarot message is the Two of Pentacles. We're juggling a lot and there are emotions playing in the background. Like there are people's emotions playing in the background that want to see you taken down. So just being aware of that. Excuse me, I'm going to cough. <coughs> Knowing that you're going to do best subconsciously, I know it's hard to tell yourself subconsciously, right? But knowing that you're going to do best, focusing on one thing at a time. So cutting off this week into like time slots would be highly beneficial for you. And even like scheduling, okay, now I'm going to have fun over here. I'm going to relax over here. Here's lunch break. You know, kind of, it, it almost feels like you're in school, right? But you're not. You get to make the schedule, but you're going to have to listen to the schedule. All right. All right, Pisces, I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May harmony always be with you. I am sending loving, healing energy to each and every one of you. I love you all and stay safe. Let's end this reading with a meditation, a clearing away of negative energy, a raising of our positive energy as we embrace the power, intensity, and beauty of this time and of ourselves. And please note that this meditation and healing will be accompanied by a loud sound. So take a nice deep breath in. Exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. May you move forward in peace and in harmony, Pisces. May blessings and prosperity always be with you. I love you all. God bless. Bye.